Welcome back to the Fit Body Podcast. Today, I'm going to explore a topic that I get questions on all the time from clients. How can I eat healthy at restaurants and when I'm eating out? You know, we all love to dine out, but it really can be challenging to make healthy choices when you're faced with an array of tempting options. But I've got some great tips and tricks that are going to help you navigate restaurant menus and make healthier choices. So grab a pen and paper and get ready to take some notes. This is going to be an episode you don't want to miss. Ready to get the fit body of your dreams? Welcome to the Fit Body Podcast. I'm Julie Laurie, an IFBB fitness pro, certified personal trainer, and nutrition coach. Back in 2004, I created one of the world's first online personal training programs and have helped thousands of women transform their bodies and their lives online ever since. I've been featured in fitness magazines worldwide and even competed on American Ninja Warrior. But my passion is helping women love both how they look and how they feel through balanced workouts and healthy eating. Have you ever wondered why it's important to eat healthy when you're eating out at a restaurant in the first place? Well, let me tell you, there's actually quite a few good reasons. First, eating a healthy diet is going to help you maintain your good health overall. So it's going to help us avoid diseases like heart disease and diabetes and obesity. When you have a balanced diet with plenty of fruits, veggies, lean proteins, healthy fats, and whole grains, you give your body the nutrients it needs to function properly and stay healthy. But beyond that, eating healthy at restaurants can also help you stay on track with your goals. We all know how easy it is to indulge in high-calorie, high-fat foods when you're eating out. But by making healthy choices, you can help yourself stay on track and maintain that healthy lifestyle and keep working towards your goals. And let's not forget about the fun factor. Eating healthy at restaurants is actually a great way to explore some new foods and flavors. There's lots of restaurants that offer a variety of healthy options that actually are delicious and nutritious. So you can treat yourself and your taste buds and avoid a night of cooking and still take care of your body. First things first, I want you to check the menu beforehand when you're heading to a restaurant. Nowadays, most restaurants have their menus available online, so you can easily take a look at what they have to offer before you even leave your house. You can also give them a quick call and ask about healthy options or modifications that can be made to the dishes to make them healthier. So why is this so helpful? Well, by checking out the menu beforehand, you can take your time and actually carefully consider your options without feeling rushed or pressured in the restaurant environment. People aren't sitting there looking at you waiting for you to make a quick choice. You can also plan your meal in advance, and that's going to help you find those healthy options and avoid being tempted by the other less healthy options. For example, if you know you're going to a restaurant that specializes in fried foods and heavy sauces, you can plan ahead and you can look for the grilled or baked options instead. If you do zone in on a choice that typically is higher in calories or sodium, you can ask for modifications to be made to make that a healthier choice. Taking a few minutes to check out the menu beforehand helps give you the information you need to make a good choice and to stay on track. Ideally, you want to walk into the restaurant already knowing what you're going to order. So what kind of things should you be looking for on the menu? One of the best options is to choose a grilled, baked, or roasted dish instead of fried options. That's because fried foods are really high in calories and fat. They're going to quickly derail your healthy eating goals. Most of them are breaded and then deep fried. But don't worry. There's plenty of delicious grilled, baked, and roasted options to choose from at most restaurants. For example, you might want to order a grilled chicken breast or a fish filet that has been grilled. It's going to be packed with protein and nutrients without the added fat and calories of the breaded and fried option. Or you might want to look for the roasted or baked vegetable dish that can be a great way to get in some extra vitamins and minerals while still enjoying a full flavored meal. Another great thing about a grilled or baked option is it's got a lot of flavor on its own. And that means you don't have to rely on heavy sauces or dressings to make it taste good. It's a great way to cut down on your calories and your fat intake while still enjoying a delicious meal. 
But my watch out with that is that many times restaurants will add extra oil and butter to their baked or grilled items, even the vegetables. That's when you really have to make sure you ask for the dish made with no oil and with no butter. When it comes to eating healthy at restaurants, one thing that can really add up is the sides that come with your meal. It's all too easy to opt for the french fries or the onion rings, but these sides in particular quickly pack on the calories and the fat. Luckily, many restaurants offer healthier side options that can be just as tasty and satisfying. One great tip is to swap your sides with healthier options. For example, you might choose a side salad with the vinaigrette dressing on the side instead of french fries. Or maybe you get steamed vegetables instead of onion rings. These kind of options can be a great way to get some extra fiber, vitamins, minerals, without adding too many extra calories or fat to your meal. And don't be afraid to ask for modifications and substitutions. Most servers and restaurants are happy to accommodate dietary requests or preferences. So really, don't hesitate to ask for your food and your sides to be prepared a certain way. Or to maybe have a double serving of vegetables instead of a, a starchy side. By choosing healthier sides, you can help balance out your meal and ensure that you're getting plenty of nutrient-rich foods. Plus, you're going to feel so much better after your meal without the heavy, greasy feeling that comes with those fried foods. Something to keep in mind as well when you go out to eat at a restaurant is that it's really important to be mindful of your portion sizes. Many restaurants serve extra large portions that are significantly bigger than what you would normally eat at home. It might be tempting to finish your entire meal, but doing so really can lead to overeating and consuming far more calories than you had planned. One great way to manage your portion size is to consider sharing an entree with a friend. It's kind of fun and you can try different dishes that way and still enjoy a full meal without feeling like you've overindulged. One of my favorite tricks is actually to ask the server before the food comes out to divide the meal in half. So bring me half, bring me half the meal that I had ordered and put the other half in a to-go container so that I take it home and have it as lunch the next day. If sharing or taking leftovers home isn't an option for you, just try to be mindful of how much you are eating during your meal. Consider asking for a smaller portion size or maybe ordering off the appetizer menu as your entree. By being mindful of your portion sizes, you can still enjoy a delicious meal at a restaurant without overindulging or consuming too many calories. So next time you are eating out, think about sharing, taking your leftovers home, and being mindful. And then there's the little things. When you're trying to eat healthy at restaurants, it's really important to pay attention to those little things like dressing and sauces. They can add a lot of flavor to your meal, but many dressings and sauces are also super high in calories and fat, and that's going to add up quickly. One thing I do all the time, and it's a great tip, I think, is to ask for dressing and sauces on the side. That way you can control how much you use and you can avoid overdoing it. You might dip your fork in the dressing or the sauce before each bite instead of pouring a whole ladle on. Another benefit of asking for the dressings and the sauces on the side is it allows you to really taste the flavor of the food itself. Without an overpowering sauce or dressing, you can appreciate the natural flavors and the textures of the dish. Don't be afraid, too, to ask for healthier dressings or saucing, sauce options. Uh, many restaurants have lower fat options. They've got vinaigrette dressings or just really sauces that are made with healthier ingredients like herbs and spices. Those things can be just as tasty and satisfying while also being a whole lot better for your body. Finally, when you're trying to stay on track and you want to eat out, have go-to restaurants where you know you can get the food you want. So have a list of restaurants that you know offer the options that are healthy and that you enjoy. It's going to take the guesswork out of meal planning. You don't have to spend time researching menus and trying to figure out what dishes are the best choice for your diet. Instead, you can simply choose the healthy option that you know is available at your go-to restaurants. Additionally, having a go-to restaurant, it's going to help you avoid temptations. When you're trying to eat healthy, it can be really tough to resist the allure of those unhealthy options on a menu. 
But when you have a set list of restaurants that you know offer healthy choices, you know what you're going to get each time you walk in the door and you can avoid the temptation. Furthermore, going to that same restaurant regularly, it's going to help you build a relationship with the staff and the chefs. By getting to know the people who prepare your food, you can communicate your needs and your preferences more easily. That's going to help ensure that you get exactly what you need from your meals without having to worry about hidden ingredients and preparation methods. Okay, there you have it. Those are my tips on eating healthy when you are eating out and at restaurants. Thank you so much for joining me for this episode of the Fit Body Podcast. Thank you for joining me on the Fit Body Podcast. Looking forward to sharing more health and fitness information with you soon. Want more information about my online personal training for women or the world's best supplements and protein powder? Check out fitbody.com for more info.